Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I guess I really shouldn't say welcome back because I haven't done one of these in a long time, but with everything going on with COVID-19, I wanted to take this seriously and start trying to be a credible source of information on YouTube, not just about COVID-19, but going beyond with medical education and things like that. Uh, I actually went ahead and bought a camera, D83, D3 Pro microphone, LED lights, tripod, it's gonna to be totally amateur hour. You can't expect a lot of fancy sound effects or editing from me because I just don't have time and I'm not that interested in it. But uh, it sure beats my webcam setup and like using a Blue Yeti microphone. So this is gonna be an improvement, I hope. I'm gonna start with a little bit about myself. I am a native Texan. I was born in San Antonio. I moved out to Houston when I was probably one or two years old. I grew up out in Katy, went to Baylor College of Medicine for medical school. I stayed there for anesthesiology residency and I was a chief resident, went on to pursue two fellowships, one in critical care medicine and one in adult cardiothoracic anesthesiology in Boston, Massachusetts at the Harvard program at Brigham and Women's Hospital. This is home, so I came back home. Um, now I've been a, assistant professor for about 10 and a half months or so uh, in the Texas Medical Center, and it's awesome. I absolutely love working with my residents and fellows. Uh, this is kind of like my dream job. I feel like I've got a perfect split, half in the ICU, half in the cardiac anesthesia world, and um, it just makes me a better perioperative physician and just more complete in both settings. So very, very happy with my career choice. But I wanted to use this channel and kind of relaunch it just to start talking about things that are in the news and then more importantly, focus on medical education first and foremost. There are a lot of people out there who really wanna become healthcare providers, they wanna become physicians, they wanna become nurses, so on and so forth. So my job is to give an accurate portrayal of what that actually entails. There's too much glorified stuff on social media these days of people would fancy this and you know all the rainbows and unicorns and all that stuff about healthcare, but very little about the actual nitty gritty bad parts of healthcare, especially in 2020, when we're dealing with all this anti like society versus doctors, that kind of stuff. I'm first and foremost gonna be a proponent of science. I'm gonna trust in the evidence, I'm gonna trust in experts in their respective fields. If people think that I'm being political about it, that's their own bias and I'm not gonna convince them anyways, this is YouTube. But at the same time, my job is to provide an accurate portrayal of what I see and what I believe as a physician, as a proponent of science, as someone who believes that people who have been trained in the respective disciplines should be listened to. They're credible sources compared to random people on Facebook and Instagram. So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get medical education. I've got a lot of procedures lined up where I want to talk about chest tube placement and paracentesis and central line placement, all these good things. We're gonna talk about whatever you guys want. There's always comments that you can leave. You can send me an email. I'll leave descriptions in these videos where you can find a way to reach me. And I just wanna be a source that you guys can look to and say, okay, this guy is being real. He's talking about the good and the bad. It's not just all glamorous and that you could trust him because through my training, one thing I've learned is work ethic and humility above all else. You can't do everything as a physician. You certainly can. And if COVID-19 has shown us above anything, Teamwork is the most important aspect of providing care when you are stretched so thin and you don't have enough people to take care of an inordinate number of patients. You have to be able to trust in your team. And time and time again, they've come through. They've all stepped up, they've all done their part. And as a, as a physician who works in the ICU, I'm just thrilled that I've got this opportunity to help patients in this day and era. So going into the future, what do you guys wanna hear about? Drop me a comment with suggestions, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.